Hey hey guys, how's it going? It's me Mio again. Welcome back to some more of Gundam Seed Rengu vs Zaf 2 Plus. We are still uh, on the hunt for, you know, waiting on the announcement of Seed Freedom. But I do believe I've seen other countries nearby, especially Malaysia, just recently got their announcement. They're gonna have theirs aired at April 4, I think? And good at them. Congratulations to the uh, Malaysian community. We're still waiting on... The ones left in the Southeast Asia region that have not yet got an announcement is Indonesia and the Philippines at the time of this recording. And it's safe to say hopefully it's somewhere around mid to end April we do get an announcement of Seed Freedom here in the Philippines. So hopefully at least it also means that in this game we get to finish the Seed Destiny campaign prior to uh, the release date here in the country. But if not, at least we're able to go through the alternate universe of Seed with... Well, I'm not gonna say further because it is spoiler territory for this game. What we're gonna do now is that we're gonna continue on. Last where we left off, Stella died. Neo got incapacitated, but in the POV of Gilbert Durandal, Neo is dead. Um, Kira just uh, announced himself. Kagali is angry at us. And now we're actually going to continue on with the mission with Luna Maria. And actually, like I said on the last episode, I do have a translated guide pulled up here. So I am actually going to bump that in and see which mission this is. This is mission 5 and as per the guide, that is Hot Sand Patrol. So our objective for this one is we have to just simply do our rounds. Okay, with everything set up here, I do believe this is all fine and good. I'll throw in Rush for Luna Maria's sake for obvious reasons. But as soon as um, Asper Lore, she boards the Impulse, I'm going to give her the speed one. So, so we have a defense mission. We have to make sure the ship that uh, Luna Maria is defending does not get shot down. Ow! Luna! Oh, nice one! Two hit combo. Stop landing on my ship! So that's it. Twenty seconds. No, do not die. Luna, take care of that, please. No, good. One more shot and that ship is dead. Thank you, ship, for um, stunning the enemy before you get die died. We're in our next mission now, it says here it's called Looming Threat. And the objective for this one is... Okay, so it's a um, gauge mission. So it means you have to... 
take out the enemy gauge down to zero. Oh my god! Luna, you. Ow! That you're seriously, you better live, girl. Okay, a few more. And last one. Okay, so dagger L. Oh no, never mind. She just hugged me. <laughs> I got all the kills. Did I get hit? Ooh, so we get a double plus mission here. So we're gonna do with Luna first. Uh, which is another, according to here, is a rescue mission. 30. Rescue- Oh! Rescue 30 life pods, I see. So we have to focus on rescuing them before we spend the rest. Yeah, we're gonna focus on rescuing these life pods first before we decide to attack the uh, abandoned alliance ship. How are they able to fit 30 in this arena though? Oh yeah, with this the camera does not actually... You cannot actually move the camera? So that's just a um, key point that you need to understand about this uh, sort of mission. So be careful with your thrusters. Also, it is limited gauge, boost gauge, and also follow your map. And do not double press when it's not necessary. Okay, so we got a minute left. And it's all on that side. Where did these guys come from? Last one is right there. Now can I attack? Yeah, no, that ship is gonna live to see tomorrow. Um, let's just finish off this mission. Very simple one, actually. Not to mention very chill. Now we're going over to Ray Zaborel now, and this mission is mission seven. And according to the wiki, it's the place of sin. Yeah, there is a lot of um mistagged or misplaced uh, missions according to the timeline of the anime. Unless this is how it happened in the manga or God of Seed Destiny The Edge. So this should have happened when we captured Stella in our custody. Okay, 
they're uh, way far away. Select button will stop. Lock on will解除できる目標地点に移動するときや探し物をするときに使うとき Okay, so that explains the、uh, whole guide from Ray. So that dialogue was more of a, a game thing rather than a lore thing. So Ray is telling us we could use the select button to disengage our target and move over to our to the next nearby one. I think I should have been in the blast impulse for this. Gotta be in the blast for this. Okay, there we go. So just too many, so I had to fill in a third unit just to match up with the time. Senso no nai sekai. Gicho no moto ni omae ga kizuku sekai. Oh god damn it, sorry Ray. I thought you were done. Okay, next one is mission eight with Luna. And looks like Luna now is in the impulse. And this means let's try to do double impulse for this. Oh no wait. I'd rather go sword for this one. It would make perfect sense if this was canon. Ow. Damn it! Now, it's just a training mission, okay? Why is Luna doing a much better job than me? And I'm the impulse main. Ow. There we go, almost dead. Thanks, Luna, for hitting me. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Alright, so at this point, Luna can now pilot the Force Impulse. 
but looks like we got an extra mission with Isaac now. It's our second mission with him. And according to the guide, it says here that Isaac's second co-op mission is Sortie of the Jewel um the Jewel Squadron. And it says that we just have to rescue five life pods. Okay. I'll go force for the sake of that extra mobility. I did notice though that Sword Impulse has lesser thrusters and. But. Although. Blast Impulse has good mobility. I mean, good thrusters, it does not have that much mobility on them. Okay, I see. So we use the enemy father to gain seed. There we go. And that's what we do to get closer to the objective. Okay, ignore everyone and focus. This map is the biggest map in the game, actually. The one near Genesis. I mean, me or was that Misai? Or was that Misai? God, 30 seconds left and we still have one more pod to collect. And there it is. My god, why are you so far? I'm gonna clutch it. There we go. Okay, one more mission with Isaac. This is a lot of filler, actual, to be honest. It's like they just do this to pad out the game by putting non canonical training missions with other cast members. Oh, nice! Only boost! Let's remember the jewel team in... In the anime, they're stuck in space. They never actually been to orb. Oh god, Zamzaza! Ow. Oh nice, the Arca does that on his uh, special command. He shouts it out as he uh, launches a charge attack. Oh, that's 
That's her air. And that one is straight. Oh, nice one, Diarca. Yeah, Diarca does best at keep away from a distance with a full blown charge attack. Oh, nice. Gureto indeed. Oh great, now we're best friends with the Arca. And all that's left is Isaac. Oh, we get an extra plus mission though. And now it's Ray's turn uh, for encounters at sea. And according to this, it says that Oh, so this one according here says it's training with Kira against Kira. Yeah, so this one is the simulation that Athran was uh, witnessed uh, Kira. I mean, ow! Oh my God, chonk, chonk damage. And I'm dead! Ah no! The full burst! Ray, of all the simulations, why must you go with first encounter Kira? No. <laughs> ah! No shark kick for you. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Ow! No! I'm dead. No! Almost died. There we go. So, this is the simulation that Shin and Ray were doing to take down Kira. And that was hard. And called it! It is finally Operation Angel Down. But before that, let us do this next mission. So this one is an intermediate um, day, uh, rescue life pod mission where we could stay and not get the third one and continue on with combat. <laughs> Just get two, and then we start farming. So we're up against a couple of dins first. Ow! And as soon as the gauge fills up, we go jump straight into. Speed mode, a uh, seed mode. 
Oh god, the Raider! Okay, this is gonna be painful. Now I'm dead. Grab me, bro. So, cons uh, oh, God. Consider this uh, plus mission as bond training or just training in general. Ow. Oh god, the mace. Okay, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No! <laughs> <laughs> no more. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's enough training for one mission. And before that, I'll save first, and then we shall conduct Operation Angel Down. So now this is going to be the first mission in the game, where. You could pit in three mains to fight against Kira. What I'd normally do for this is... Let's see if we could take him out with just one Shin. The game actually encourages you to bring in three leads for you to use. Because Kira is a pain, of course. We could do it with just one Shin. And canonically at that... It's gonna be very well, you know, part of the course. So we have to wait for the Archangel to enter into the arena so that Kira would launch out. Never mind, there he is. Ow! What? ですが、現時点で機関が搭載機を目的とされた全ての戦闘を停止し、投降するならば、今回も攻撃を停止します。警告は一度です。We melee at the same time, you dick. Yeah, it's gonna be hard with just one shin. Shin. 
Luna. Because Luna now has access to the Impulse. But remember, in the anime, Luna is incapacitated. So she shouldn't be able to fight. The only thing we could do though is to build up Gage so that we can build up Gage so that when Shin comes into the field, Shin can go ham. アーケンジェル聞こえますか今回は現在司令部より機関の撃沈命令を受けて行動します。ですが、現時点で機関は搭載機を含めた全ての戦闘を停止し、航行するならば今回も攻撃を停止します。計画は一度です。以後の申し入
Not now, Ray. I got this. Bye, Athran. And another mobile suit cut in half. This is morbid of Shin. But then again, it was just the reenactment of their fight in the bay. Uh, just with mobile suits. Remember, you know, that scene where Athran punched the living daylights out of Shin in front of everyone else? Hira Yamato.本当に不幸だった彼は気の毒に思っているよ。彼がもっと早く自分を知っていたら君たちのようにその力と役割を知り、それを活かせる場所で生きられたら彼自身も悩み苦しむこともなく、その力は称えられて幸福に生きられただろ
And finally, Shin is now level 10. Wait, wait, hold up! How are you still alive? Bro! Oh, nice, only boost. Okay, you guys are. Is the forbid what is the forbidden doing here? Oh, nice one, uh, Heine. That should hit him. Why did we have an extra Heine mission when Heine is supposed to be dead? Why did we have an extra Heine mission when Heine is supposed to be dead? Alright, we won't need to focus on... Actually, we really don't need to focus on the Three Ships Alliance or, or the Earth Forces. We just have to focus on our team because we're already experiencing mutiny. We won't do this mission yet though. We'll focus on main plot and the one now with Ray is... This is the test run now for the destiny. So this is now going to be our primary go-to from Destiny onwards. And also on the alternate universe. This mission makes us be more familiar with Destiny by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all variants of the Impulse. So they were not kidding when they said that the Destiny is an all-rounder unit. You got a charge attack. You have your beam boomerangs. An anti-ship sword. A thrusting attack. Your basic beam rifle. And a shining finger. That's a lot of armaments. Oh, also you have the Vulcans too. Oh, 
I want to finish this off with a shining finger, honestly. But, in old Shin fashion, we have to do it with the sword. さすがだな。私も君たちの活躍は聞いているよ。いろいろあったが、よく頑張ってくれた。また話したいこともいろいろあるが、まずは見てくれたまえ。Okay, so this is actually the dialogue that Dorandal says to Shin and Athran in the hangar of Zaf. ZGMF X42S Destiny これは従来のものをはるかに上回る性能を持った最新鋭の機体だ。火力、防御力、機動力、信頼性、そのすべての点において、インパルスをしのぐ最強のモビルスーツだ。これは交渉が普及で作り上げた自信作だよ。どうか
with the destiny. Ow. So your bread and butter here is that you just do stabby stabby. Oh, also, since since uh, the boomerang is considered a beam, it goes through machine guns. So if anyone attacks you with a physical projectile, you are safe. Look at that! You're basically... Well, as long as you don't do anything stupid like I did... As long as you don't do anything stupid... You you can basically finish off anyone with the destiny alone. Oh nice, I finished with the shiny finger. Oh correction, Palma Fiokina. Okay, now that makes everyone in the eternal our mortal enemy. But to finish off, yes, this definitely is it. To finish off this episode, unfortunately, we have to kill Athran. Also, by the way, yeah, there is that one seed mission, but before we kill Athran, let's do this over first. So this one's another collecting mission, but let's see how monstrous the destiny is alone in this mission. We've done it with the impulse on the last two. <laughs> The, uh, the mobility of destiny is to die for. Honestly. Also, that thrusting attack, if you're out of thrusters, that is your go-to to charge head on to the enemy. Or to whichever target that you're heading into. Ow. Oh my god, I did a double kill. Okay, sure, I'm being punished by Cannon Father. Ow. Okay, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm out. Woo! That was monstrous. I, f I lost count of how many Jin Ochre's types we've taken out with the Destiny, but wow! This mobile suit is the epitome of mobility. Another one? Oh, two of them! So we're getting a lot of collect training missions. I think they're real... because the... Guide also says that the difficulty is going to get amped up to oblivion by this point. 
So this is actually really good training. Oh look, Forbiddens! Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's gonna be a huge upset that your habit of charging with the anti-ship sword is gonna happen a lot because it is that effective. You're gonna forget about the rest of your armaments. Even the aim of the charged cannon? At least in short medium range is very strong. And it's and it's quite quick. That's it. Okay, I'm out. Oh god. The problem now with the Destiny though, if you have a gauge at the side, this eats up more than your impulse by a hundred plus. Next one is we got a six. Is this six nukes or is this six collections? <laughs> It's six collections. And it's low gravity. There is no time limit, but you're chased by all the impulses. You can die! Like that! Okay, never mind! They respawn! Focus on being alive instead! I got cocky. Oh god. Woo! Ow. Oh god! 
Oh, <laughs> almost died. Zero gravity, low HP. That's a recipe for disaster. Okay, so now the finale that we've all been waiting for. Killing Athran. Well, not technically if you've watched the anime. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'll try my best to follow plot and it means letting Rei do all the fighting. Chunkiest goof attack I've ever gotten. Oh my god, we actually got. We actually automatically got full seed charge. Okay, now time to finish it according to canon. And now we regret things happening as how they are. Omae ga mamoru nda. Gichou to sono atarashii sekai o. Kore de ii no yo ne. Kore de ii no yo ne. シン。見事だ、シン。気にするな。俺は気にしていない。お前のやったことは正しい。And unfortunately because of that we lost access to Athran for the sole reason that he's dead. But we also have some filler missions here with Luna. For some reason. Oh wait, right. Uh, she still doesn't have full access to the impulse yet. And the last one was just training. <laughs> Oh look, who's back after a whole game of hiatus. Oh, 
次から次へとどこから出てくるのかしら Honestly, this is just uh, <laughs> this is just Luna Maria's way of coping at the fact that Mayrin is quote unquote dead. Also, do not always charge at the enemy. It's best to strafe to the side. You're supposed to be dead, man. Why are you here? Oh, nice. Thanks, Luna. Thanks for that fake out attack. Oh nice, we only need to take out one of the Rouges. Sorry Luna that you died. I know you're still coping. Did you say that was the last one? There's this last one, Heaven's Base. And what no better than to go as, a, as the duo. Also, you cannot Palma Fiokina our way through the destroy because there's nothing to grab. But we can do this endlessly. Okay, easy! Anime! Anime ending. さすがだな。お前ならできると信じていた。さっきの戦闘での功績を称え、シンアスカにネビラ勲章を授与するものとする。おめでとう。いや、全く素晴らしい。それから君を本日付けでフェイスに任命する。これは。
どうかそれを誇りとし今この瞬間を裏切ることなく今後もその力を尽くしてほしい新たな期待を手配しておいたこれでまた君の活躍を見せてほしいものだな OK with this it also means that Shin already has a new profile picture. <laughs> What is this Facebook? <laughs> he has a new profile picture because he is now promoted as a faith member for his for his honorable attempts in taking down Heaven's Base and quote unquote saving the world. Of course, Raid also gets the faith member badge, but safe to say it means that we don't have any enemies anymore. Except for Kagali. Wherein we'll be the one doing the invading on the next part. So everything else was all defense, and now this is where our villain arc starts to happen. For Shin, it is unwilling because uh, he was forced to take out Athran, Kira. Well, Kira, well, that's his blind justification. But for Athran, that was like pure, absolute gaslighting and manipulation that happened. And Shin is an absolute victim of it when he was forced to take out Athran and Maiden. But with the destiny at hand, let's see if we could breeze through the remainder of the missions. I would do some quick grinding on the side just to make sure that Athran. Well, not Athran per se, but other characters would be able to come to my aid. Like, for example, Stella. If that is possible without the co op battle yet. But anyway. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Gundam Seed Durango vs. Zaf2 Plus. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys as we go through as the villain in the rest of Gundam Seed Destiny Story.